Let's say you tuned in to the US Open at touch late. It's okay, you're a busy golf fan, you've got stuff to do. But you couldn't possibly have predicted how the early hours of the 118th US Open could go, hours in which we saw three of the world's greatest players, Bill Mickelson, Rory McIlroy, and Jordan Spieth go a combined 25 over for their first round. Phew, that was the big surprise of the early tea times of the first day, but it wasn't the only notable moment. Here's what shook down on Thursday at the US. Open, one under par is an amazing round a total of 156 golfers teed off Thursday. Four, so far, carded rounds under par, 151 of our over par. There were more, so far, 81s than 71s. And the world top 10 combined to go 52 over par. All of which makes the one under par rounds turned in by co-leaders Scott Piercy, Ian Poulter, Russell Henley and Dustin Johnson the best 69s they'll ever shoot. Tiger Woods implode ace twice as many double bogeys, two, as birdies, one, is not a good sign. Throw in a triple bogey and Tiger is already in danger of missing the cut. He wound up eight over, all of that damage being done on just five holes. While it's too early to count him completely out of contention, especially considering the teeth Shinnecock is showing, how does one come back from nine strokes back when there are very few birdies to be had? Seriously, how? Friday will be a new day, but this one already has the feel of Tiger's entire comeback, equal parts hype and hope that went fully baked tastes like a four-day-old soft pretzel without any salt. Dustin Johnson showed the way during round one at the US Open with a 1 under 69, while playing partner Tiger Woods is 9 back after an 8 over 78. AP, big names in danger of missing the cut along with Tiger, Phil Mickelson, 7, Jordan Spieth, 8, John Ram, 8, and Rory McIlroy, 10, all have work to do Friday if they want to make it to the weekend. Top 60 and ties makes the cut, and right now that puts the cut line at 5, find the full leaderboard here. Ian Poulter parachutes and from 2010 there was a time when Ian Poulter was the most feared golfer on the planet. That time was about 8 years ago, and the location was the Ryder Cup. For as mouthy as he is on Twitter and during match play, Poulter hasn't ever made much noise in majors, in 56 events, he's got 8 top 10 finishes, his best is solo second at the 2008 Open Championship. He's got no love for the US Open, his best finish at this tournament is a T-17. But here he was, holding the clubhouse lead at a minus one that looked downright heroic after seeing some of the scores further down the leaderboard, I have to say, through most of the US Opens, I haven't enjoyed very many, to be honest, he said after his round. They're difficult, they're hot, they're stressful. Feels like you're pulling teeth every single hole you play. How I've got any left, I don't really know. They always set out very difficult. It's supposed to be tough. And this week, I've changed my mindset. I'm here to enjoy my golf this week, to play freely, to go out and just say, you know, just go play golf. If I hit it in the rough, I hit it in the rough. I'm going to try and make par the hard way and just knock it, just don't get too bogged down with it. So far, so good. Strange scene of the day Dustin Johnson's tee shot on the sixth hole drifted left into the knee-high hay that lines the holes at Shinnecock. Even though a volunteer was right there, the ball effectively vanished into the thicket. And that set off the day's strangest scene, world number one Johnson, world no. Two Justin Thomas, Tiger Woods, and two dozen media members, course marshals, and fans stomping around in the high grass to find the ball. As it turned out, former PGA Championship winner and current Sky Sports commentator Rich Beam found the ball, by stepping on it. That gave Johnson a free drop, bringing to a close one of the other moments of day one, quote of the day nothing from Mikkelsen or McElroy, that's for sure, both Mickelson. Spieth chatted with a group of us while on his way to player dining. Phil did stop to talk with some potential design clients. 
Rory vanished so quick he may have operated like a wizard outside the walls of Hogwarts. Kevin Van Valkenburg at Kevin Valkenburg June 14, 2018 shot of the day Brian Gay darn near jarred his tee shot on the 184-yard par 3 7th hole, a big reason why he spent plenty of time Thursday right at the top of the leaderboard.